This week in Jamaica Now, more on the scandal rocking Petrojam. The opposition takes a stand in Parliament demanding answers. The National Integrity Action says the Energy Minister should resign or be fired. How the Prime Minister is responding. Minimum wage going up, but is it enough? Suspects arrested in the murder of Portland couple. The fight over the abandonment of post-cabinet press briefings and multi-million dollar ganja study underway. I'm Althea McKenzie, in for Damian Mitchell, and this is Jamaica Now. The opposition has been demanding answers over the termination of the human resources manager and the subsequent hiring of another said to be a friend of Energy Minister Dr. Andrew Wheatley. It's also lashing the minister for failing to take action against a board which has not met since January. And there's a stink over a cost to construct a perimeter wall and direct payments of money to an individual instead of a company which was contracted to provide certain services. A month after he tabled in Parliament related questions for Wheatley to answer, Central Manchester MP Peter Bunting this week got support from his colleagues, taking a stand in the House to demand that they be answered. Wheatley was not present, and the House Speaker Pernell Charles would not allow the matter to dominate the sitting, triggering a clash with the opposition. Let the member speak. Show me where you're the standing the order you're speaking from. Let the member speak. Show me where you're the standing the order you're speak. speaking from. Let the member speak. Show me. I am ashamed of you all. I'm ashamed of your behavior. And I want to disassociate my church from your behavior. Meanwhile, teams from the Major Organized Crime and Anti-Corruption Agency and the New Integrity Commission this week swooped down on Petrojam, confiscating documents and computers. On Monday, the Andrew Holness-led cabinet had a 12-hour meeting to examine the Petrojam issue. The Prime Minister has since said the government is awaiting further information to decide on the appropriate actions to be taken. And the National Integrity Action says Wheatley should be fired if he fails to resign. According to Executive Director Professor Trevor Monroe, the Prime Minister must insist on transparency and accountability. The Information Minister Rural Reid says the government is reviewing the current format of post-Cabinet press briefings and will soon make an announcement. He was responding to renewed concerns by the Press Association of Jamaica six weeks after it first questioned the six-month abandonment of the weekly briefings. Reid told Power 106 FM's Morning Agenda that it's difficult to always schedule ministers to attend the weekly briefings. Beyond that, he says the Prime Minister holds quarterly media briefings. However, the OPM has missed several quarters. The Information Minister says the government is mulling modeling the White House press briefings, a consideration that the Prime Minister had unveiled months before the appointment of his press secretary Naomi Francis in October 2016. Minimum wage earners have been granted a 13% increase from $6,200 to $7,000 for a 40-hour work week. The increase takes effect on August 1. The minimum wage for security guards moves up from $8,854 to $9,700 a week. And old age pension has been increased from $2,800 to $3,400 per week. The increases were announced by Labor Minister Shahini Robinson during her contribution to the sectoral debate in Parliament on Tuesday. However, opposition spokesman on Labour, Harris Daly, says it is disgraceful that after two years, the government would only offer what he describes as a meager $800 increase. He said during its pre-election campaign in 2016, the Jamaica Labour Party promised to set a minimum wage of $10,000 per 40-hour work week. Two men are now in police custody in relation to the murder of an elderly couple in Portland. Last Friday, the partially burnt bodies of 74-year-old Alfred Anderson and his 71-year-old wife Florence were discovered in the farming community of Mount Pleasant. The Andersons are returning residents from Manchester, England. Commanding officer for the Portland Police, Superintendent Dwayne Wellington, says investigators are conducting a parallel investigation into the fraudulent use of a credit card belonging to the deceased woman. Investigators theorized the Andersons were killed to thwart the credit card fraud investigation. It supported that approximately $8 million was withdrawn from an account belonging to Mrs. Anderson. 
The Jamaica Medical Cannabis Corporation is investing U.S. $2 million, 264 million Jamaican dollars in research on local ganja strains to scientifically ascertain their medicinal potential. The study will be done over the next 10 years. Director General of the National Commission on Science and Technology, Professor Errol Morrison, says the project will be very comprehensive. And overseas, a sharply divided Supreme Court on Tuesday upheld President Donald Trump's ban on travel from several mostly Muslim countries. One group had brought the claim, saying the policy discriminated against Muslims or exceeded the president's authority. A dissenting justice said the outcome was a historic mistake. The 5-4 to four decision is a big victory for Trump on an issue that is central to his presidency. It's also the court's first substantive ruling on a Trump administration policy. And that's it for this edition of Jamaica Now, your weekly review of the big news stories. Send us your comments at onlinefeedback at gleanerjm.com. You may tune into Power 106 FM for regular updates. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Jamaica Gleaner and on Facebook at Gleaner Jamaica. I'm Althea McKenzie in this week for Damon Mitchell. And before we go, we hit the streets of Kingston to test the knowledge of football fans and how well they know their teams. Michael Owen, over the years, good at them get um, my number 10 ball last start. Number 12, 14, 13, and number 9. Me get homework still. I might play them this year. I go figure out which name them. Five baller, right and now. John Lowenstein, right and now. Me never go do the research, you know. You have Neymar, you see me? And the next player, they name again, man. Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm telling you, you see, most of the, the name baller them. I can't tell you the work upside now. Because I don't have a future, none of the, the work up ball of them on the side as yet. You see me? Do you know any other kind of players on the team? No. Just Messi. Just Messi. Oh, that is easy, 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 man. How are you, sir, man? You have Ramos, although I don't like him because he mash up the general with you. You see what I say? You have Iniesta, you have Silva, you have Asensio, the young star where you come up. I the player for watching the World Cup that I sent you. Brilliant youth. You have Vasquez. Well, if I you that the man I have the, the Chinese Super Ninja. Some dog a man you that the keeper, the gear. Yes, yes.